This is Skylon, the spaceship of the future, as envisioned by British engineers. This space shuttle is designed to transport 12 tons of cargo into space. Skylon won't need huge oxygen tanks like the American space shuttle. In the first phase of its flight, it'll use oxygen from the air to burn its fuel. Only at very high altitude will it begin using its own supplies. But Skylon might never leave the ground. Closer to blast-off are these light electric propulsion engines developed by researchers at Stuttgart University. They could soon be propelling space probes towards Mars. In containers, the engines are tested under near-space conditions in an almost total vacuum. We want to know how to use modern propulsion systems in space to overcome great distances, like from Earth to the Moon, or from Earth to Mars, or even further. And we're also looking at what possibilities there are for using modern technology to save fuel. That ability alone will make many of these missions possible. The engines need a lot of electrical current, as much as flows through a high-voltage power line. The basic principle is that electrical energy heats a gas, and a variety of technologies are used to accelerate it. In space, the electric propulsion engines will look like this. Their thrust won't be as powerful as conventional rocket engines, but they'll be more efficient. A conventional engine burns for only a few seconds, but an electric engine can operate for months or even years, providing constant acceleration. That would make it ideal for a mission to Mars. The first unmanned probe powered by an electric engine is scheduled for launch in 2030. However, to fly even further in space, an engine with more thrust will be needed. One possibility is the fusion propulsion engine, like the one envisioned by British researchers. It could power an unmanned probe to fly to our nearest stars. But a fusion engine would be less suited to manned missions. The main problem with this propulsion system is that the cargo and the astronauts would have to be shielded from the radiation the engine would produce. Hydrogen would fuel a fusion-powered shuttle. There's plenty of it in space. And the US Buzzard Ramjet probe is designed to make use of it. What's special about the Buzzard Ramjet is that it uses a giant magnetic field to scoop up the fuel during flight. Fuel will be the key question for the space shuttle of tomorrow. Today's engines consume huge amounts of energy. Smarter systems will be needed to explore the final frontier in the future.